Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you. By the way, how are you doing? Good? Okay. Uh, Mr. Bobolinsky, over here, how are you doing? Yes. Good. So I, I just have a question. We've been at this for 15 months now in oversight. I know this is your first time here. But do you think Chairman Comer has proven that Joe Biden has committed a high crime and misdemeanor? I believe with all the evidence he's gathered, yes, he's proven that Joe Biden has committed high crimes and misdemeanors. Okay, and so I assume you believe Joe Biden should be impeached. Well, that's up to you guys. <clears throat> but do you believe he should be impeached? It's yes or no. Well, I personally believe yeah, yeah, or yeah, you. under constitutional... No, no, no. You personally, do you believe he should be impeached? I do. Okay, and you believe that because you believe Chairman Comer has proven that he committed a high crime and misdemeanor? No, because I know that he committed high crimes and misdemeanors. Okay. I was involved and saw them happen. Right, but obviously, with all the evidence, you must believe that all of these hearings for 15 months, that the chairman has proven that, right? You re the question? <clears throat> sure. I, I, I'll, I'll sum it up. I assume you believe he should be impeached. But my, my point is, is that the chairman has not yet moved for that. And, and so, look, chairman, we got, we got like three and a half minutes here. I mean... Let's just do the impeachment. I mean, why continue to waste millions of dollars of the taxpayers' money if we're going to impeach because you believe you've shown he's committed a high crime and misdemeanor? Let, what are you waiting on? Let, let, let's just do it. I mean, by the way, we got Chairman Jordan here also, the double chairman. Why aren't you guys calling for the vote in your committee? When, when is it going to happen? When, when can we tell the American people you're going to stop wasting their money and just call for the vote on impeachment? Gentlemen, I mean, yield. Gentlemen, yield. Sure. We don't do snap impeachments like you guys. We actually do the facts. We do oversight according so you're to the you're Constitution. So you're never going to call for it. You're never going to call for it. I mean, you, well, now you can predict. Months. You can predict the future. How well, do you know? You, only, you guys only have six more months, probably in power, right, until the election. So are you going you to do it in two months? You going to do it in three months? Like, tell the American people. Does the Constitution take... put a time limit on oversight? So I don't that, think I didn't. I didn't read that in the Constitution. So, means, so you, if you believe you don't, you don't can't call for the impeachment now, then what you're admitting is you haven't yet proven that he's committed a high crime and misdemeanor. You haven't proven it yet. Otherwise, you would call for it, I assume. We're doing our work. Okay, so, our so they haven't proven it, right? They haven't proven he committed a high crime and misdemeanor. Otherwise, we would call for impeachment. So I just, look, you know, the chairman knows me well. I mean, I'm just here to help him, right? And so I just think we should do it today. Let's just call for it. I'll, I'll make the motion, Mr. Chairman. I want to help you out. You can second it, right? Like, make the motion to impeach President Biden. Go ahead. It's your turn. Okay. You second it. No, nothing. Okay, we got nothing. So I want to, with my last couple of minutes, show the American people that they're never going to impeach Joe Biden. It's never going to happen because they don't have the evidence. Okay, this is a show. It's all fake. They just want to do these hearings. It's not leading to impeachment. They're lying to their base on Newsmax and Fox, leading these people to believe that they're going to eventually impeach the president. It's not going to happen at all, ever. Period. They don't even have the votes, even if they had it in committee. They don't have the votes on the floor. They know that. They got members resigning rather than taking a vote on the fake faux impeachment. Just ask Ken Buck, who said the speaker ain't going to get me to take an unconstitutional impeachment vote. I mean, boy. I mean, so, uh, look, I mean, if, this hearings, if these hearings were a success... Right. If if what we've been doing for the last 15 months had convinced the American people that Joe Biden committed a high crime and misdemeanor, you can be damn sure they would have called the vote by now. Right. But they want it to go on. They well, they either want it to go on because they don't have the evidence. Are you asking me a question? Oh, no, I'm, no, I'm just oh. looking at you. Oh, okay. But, but we, if you want to talk to me, we can talk. Well, no, I think you haven't read uh, recent data that shows the American people are well aware of the Biden's corruption. Perfect. So then ask the chairman why he hasn't called for impeachment, Tony. He's right here. Ask, ask Comer. Hey, Comer, how come you haven't called for impeachment? I'll do it. Watch. Hi, I'm Tony. Hey, chairman, how come you haven't called for impeachment? When are we going to have the hearing? When is the vote going to happen? I mean, I, you believe it. He believes it. He says it every day on TV. I just don't know when we're going to have the vote. Are, I mean, you, just let's, you, let's just go. We can, asking, we can save... We can save the taxpayers millions of dollars. So, I mean, look, I used all of my time to show that this vote is never going to happen because they have no evidence on Joe Biden. I yield back.
Gentlemen, time's expired. Chair now recognizes Mr. Burleson from Missouri for five minutes.